so I think Park Avenue is fascinating, personally. So probably most of you know that um, this section of Park Avenue, you tend to forget it, is constructed over Metro North Railroad tracks. And so uh, the railroad tracks were, were open until around 1910, and then, um, and then the, the, they were covered. And then at that time, Park Avenue became a very desirable location. It's a very wide avenue, so you get a lot of air and light. And um, the median uh, that currently lines Park Avenue was actually even wider, and it was more park-like. Uh, so they're really interesting pictures of that median, and actually something that another uh, nonprofit organization, uh, Transportation Alternatives, we use in its materials to support photos of Park Avenue, just to show how, um, how uh, Park Avenue was evolved. And so, um, so at that time, uh, in the 1910s, once the tracks were covered over, there was no longer the threat of cinders coming from railroads uh, and the noise of railroad tracks. Park Avenue became very desirable. Um, and, uh, and I think this is a really interesting uh, place to kind of ponder how geography has dictated, um, and geology too for that matter, has dictated development in New York City, where we're currently standing on what's called Carnegie Hill, so high elevation. And then Carnegie Hill starts to slope downwards towards East Harlem. And so um, the, the Metro North Railroad tracks remain at the same grade, but they're elevated just a couple of blocks north of here. And so that's really dictated the development of East Harlem as well. So we'll get into that in just a minute, and we'll discuss some of the uh, other details of this particular stop that we've, uh, we've made. Yes. I think it was, yeah, I think it was. And when, when it was covered over, uh, that's when the name changed. So, yeah. It's just desirable. Exactly. I think it was more than Third Avenue, so Third Avenue is just down the hill. Uh, so um, another couple of items, just kind of, kind of um, pointing out the way citizens have gotten involved in improving their communities. This park that we're standing in um, was uh, recently renovated, um, and, and is, I think everyone agree, would agree a really gorgeous park. I lunch here all the time, and really is the result of people in the community kind of coming together and, and, um, and deciding to improve, uh, improve this particular location and uh, much needed park in this, this location. Because of course, south of here, you can't you can look at the medium and you can actually go into it unless you're sitting on the grass. And um, the, the Park Avenue medians as well are um, um, considered city parks, but they are um, also maintained by nonprofit organizations. So there's private funding, um, funding from neighbors that, that goes into um, the plantings that occur on Park Avenue. There are Christmas trees around in December and flowers throughout the year. So, uh, so that's really the result of, of many people coming together and, and getting involved to um, uh, to improve their neighborhood. And um, one of the, uh, the great uh, stories of Civitas is actually um, just behind you, and I think one of the gentlemen just asked about this. So when we were standing on Fifth Avenue, I was talking about the special um, planning district.